took one of our offers. Do you want me to take it? No. Hi, how are you? Good afternoon. Welcome to the Armory Show. Uh, my name is Andrew Edlin. And I have a gallery in New York City. And here we're focusing on a masterwork by Tom Duncan, who we've been representing for quite some time. It's called Dedicated to Coney Island. And it was completed in 2002 after 18 years of working on it. Uh, Tom was born in Scotland in 1939, right as World War II was beginning. And that's very significant because there was a German prisoner of war camp in his town and he spent a lot of time hiding in bomb shelters and he didn't have much to eat and that was sort of the first part of his life. And then when he was eight years old, his family moved to New York City. So most of Tom's work involves his childhood memories and fantasies about his childhood. So the Second World War has always been the signature event in his life that he keeps going back to. But this piece represents really what it was like to experience the new world through the eyes of a child. And he lived in New York City, Brooklyn in the beginning, and had such incredible times going to Coney Island. So this piece represents an homage to Coney Island, which was such a fantastic place for him to go as a boy. But it also has sort of his own uh, improvisations and creations that are not certainly based on anything real in Coney Island. For instance, right here you have the Pearl Harbor ride. Again, a World War II related fantasy. You can see the Japanese Zero following the battleship. And in actuality, amusement parks in history have had an aspect of reenacting actual historical events. So this this, uh, this piece is in keeping with that. And uh, Tom's work has been seen in uh, quite a few museums in the United States. He's frequently sort of associated with the outsider art genre, even though he's a formally trained artist. And uh, he continue, right now he's making a work that he's been working on for 15 years called Portrait of Tom with a Migraine Headache, which is quite similar to this in scale. And again, it's a very auto, overtly autobiographical work. Oh, that's the rocket of the